Enabling Office 365 Service, Exam Ref 70-347. Objective 1.2, Manage IT Deployments of Office 365 Pro Plus. In most organizations, the IT department is still responsible for installing and maintaining software on the computers used by that organization. Just because Office 365 Pro Plus is traditionally installed manually, by a user doesn't mean that it can be installed and managed centrally by an IT department. This objective deals with managing the deployment of Office 365, including managing a streaming update, the Office deployment tool, and how to customize the deployment. Uh, this objective covers the following topics. Uh, manage deployment, manage a streaming updates, use the Office deployment tool, and customize the Office deployment. So if you log on to, if, if you have an Office 365 account, and you log on to the Office 365 portal, uh, you're faced, depending on the subscription that you have, you're faced with the install now option. And so this is uh, referred to as the manual deployment. So basically, any uh, end user can go in and install uh, the applications uh, Office 365 Pro Plus. Obviously, this is unless um, uh, the IT department has disabled that ability. Now, in uh, big companies, uh, many times they disable this option and again, so users cannot manually uh, deploy Office 365 Pro Plus, but all the deployment is controlled uh, through IT. And this is what is referred to as central deployment. So with a special uh, preparation, Office 365 Pro Plus can be downloaded to a local share folder and then deployed centrally. Uh, to use this central deployment method, the IT department must use, must use uh, the Office deployment tool to download the Office 365 Pro Plus software from the Microsoft service on the Internet. While it is possible to deploy Office 365 Pro Plus centrally, uh, successful installation of Office 365 Pro Plus requires the ability for the software to activate against Microsoft Office 365 servers on the internet. Uh, you cannot use a value licensing solution such as a key management service, a KMS server, uh, to activate Office 365 Pro Plus even when you are deploying it centrally. So, and, and we talked about this in the previous, um, in one of the objectives, and it's the fact that Office 365 Pro Plus does not use a, a, uh, an activation key, doesn't use a serial number. Uh, Office 365 Pro Plus depends on a subscription. Uh, it depends on whether you have a license for the software or not. Now, the, the Office deployment tool, uh, again, it's a tool that you download from Office, uh, from Microsoft, from the Internet. Uh, it's important that when you download Microsoft software, you go directly to uh, the uh, Microsoft site rather than download it from anywhere else in the Internet. And um, so the Office deployment tool allows IT department to perform many tasks. Uh, among the main tasks are it, it generate a click to run for Office 365 installation source. Uh, so again, click to run is the installation type uh, uh, in contrast to an MSI file, which is the traditional install of software of um, you know, Office 2013 professional and, and, and that stuff. Uh, it generates a click to run for Office 365 clients and also uh, you can create what is called an app V package which basically allows administrator to configure Office 365 Pro Plus to work with application virtualization. Um, and again, so uh, to download this tool, this is a uh, uh, Office deployment tools command line tool. You just uh, go to the download center, search on Google, whatever, 
and and then just uh, and then just download it. Uh, now the Office uh, uh, deployment tool is a command line utility that provides the administrator with three general options. Uh, one, the download mode allows the administrator to download the click to run installation source for Office 365 Pro Plus as well as uh, language packed files to a central on-premises location. Uh, two, the configure mode allows for the configuration and installation of click to run Office products and language packs. And, and, um, and three, the packager uh, mode allows for the creation of uh, an app v package from downloaded uh, click to run installation files. The Office deployment tool must be run from an elevated command prompt in the uh, configure and uh, packaging modes. Uh, to run Office uh, deployment tool in download mode against a configuration file a store, let's say in the uh, C click to run folder, uh, you type in the command um, uh, shown here on the, on the picture. And, um, and then to run the Office deployment tool in configuration mode, when the tool is hosted on the uh, on a share like the one shown over here, then the configuration file is stored on um, on that folder. Again, just uh, look at the uh, the example over here how you would uh, uh, run that file. Now, the configuration file uh, contains most of the uh, or the parameters that that you can use to. Um, to configure the, uh, the deployment tool, uh, you use the configuration.xml file to perform the following tasks. Um, add or remove Office products from an installation. So let's say, for example, you don't want to uh, install all the products for, 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 for users. Let's say that uh, you don't want a particular users to have the Outlook client. Well, this is how you configure this file to exclude that uh, uh, option from the package. Uh, you use it to add or remove languages from the installation. Um, obviously, if all your employees only speak English, there's no need to install other languages. And that's how you do that. Um, a specified display options, such as whether the installation occurs silently. That means that users don't see what's going on. Everything happens in the background. Uh, you can use it to configure login options, such as how much information will be recorded in the log. And you can also use it to specify how software updates will work with a click to run. Um, so later in, the, in this video, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll point you to um, a great uh, YouTube video where you can see how this uh, file, uh, how this works. There are many important attributes that are included in the um, uh, in this in this file configuration file. So well, obviously, one is this, the source path. A lot of these attributes are self-explanatory. But anyway, so uh, the source path, the Office client edition, uh, basically whether you want the 32 or the 64 uh, bit version, uh, the version of the product. Um, some you don't need to use all this element, but if you don't use them, some of them are used the default. Like for example, in the version, uh, if this element is not set, the most recent version files will be either downloaded or installed. For example, you know Office 365 is already uh, Office 2016. It's out. So if you don't use this element then that's the version that's going to be used if you want to use office 26 uh, 2013 then you can use this attribute to uh, to define that uh, display uh, the, the display element allows you to specify what information the user see during the installation and and some of the options over here are uh, level equals none the user sees no uh, uh, user interface uh, a complexion screen, error dialog, or, or anything. Level full. That means that uh, that means that the user sees the normal click to run user interface. Uh, accept uh, the uh, license agreement equal to. That means that the uh, user does not see the Microsoft Software license terms in dialog box. Um, 
etc etc so anyway so in most companies um, the level is set to none so that user uh, don't see anything like that the exclude app uh, it's used to exclude application from being installed and the valid values for the attribute are as follows um, it's basically uh, everything that's in the package so if you want to let's say exclude uh, access well then that's what you you would exclude access on, on this attribute um, so other applications are Groove used for uh, OneDrive for Business, InfoPath, Link which is uh, Sky for Business, OneNow, Outlook, PowerPoint, uh, Project Publisher again this depends on your subscription um, many subscriptions do not include uh, project and publisher actually publisher it's included but uh, Visio and, uh, and and project for example would be the one but anyway so that's that's how you would do that uh, the language ID the login the product ID um, and the product ID uh, allow you to specify which product to install the available options are Office 65 Pro Plus Retail uh, Visio uh, Pro Retail project. So the Office Pro Plus contain the traditional Microsoft Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint, etc. Uh, Visio project and uh, SharePoint Designer are separate components that are not included in the package. Uh, you have the remove attribute, and uh, that element is it's set. Uh, if it's set all equal true, then all the click to run products are removed. Updates. The updates element allows you to configure how updates are managed and include the following options. Uh, enable, when set to two, click to run update system will check for updates. Uh, the update path, uh, target version, dot line, etc., etc. So anyway, so many things in the uh, Office deployment tool, which again, uh, you can look at a, uh, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there that demonstrate on how to use uh, the tool. All right. So, uh, objective for the, um, a summary of objectives for for this objective, uh, the Office deployment tool is a command line utility used if you want to centralize the deployment of Office 365 click to run files from a location on your local area network. You can use the Office deployment tool to download the Office 365 click to run files and the language pack files from Microsoft Service on the internet. You use the Office deployment tool in download mode to retrieve the files from the Microsoft service on the internet. You use the Office deployment tool in the in configure mode to install Office 365 using an installation source on the local area network. And the configuration that XML file is used with the Office deployment tool in both the download and the configure mode. In download mode, uh, it allows you to specif specify which files are downloaded. In the configure mode, it allows you to specify how Office uh, click to run applications and language packs are installed and how updates are applied. Um, again, in, in the uh, go to YouTube, here it's uh, the address of a nice uh, video uh, that you could use. Um, to uh, to learn on how to use this tool but anyway so just go to YouTube and search for the office deployment tool and there are plenty of resources out there objective review which element in the configuration file for the office deployment tool for click to run should you configure to prevent the installation of PowerPoint and again remember that it's the exclude app uh, which element uh, it's used to um, uh, retrieve the 64-bit version of, of the application then again it's the office client edition and which element in the configuration file is used to configure uh, to specify updates and it is the uh, updates uh, attribute 